Hello everyone. So in today's video, I'll show you how you can enhance your Cascado workflow. Okay. So for an example, you need a reference video to animate. We can import it by just going to File, Import and Reference Video. And here you can see there are some blue balls. If you select them, you can move them. And if you want to rotate them, you can press P. And to go back to moving, you can press W. Yeah. And uh, these blue points are the points which use AI to auto cause. For an example, in real life, if you move your leg like this, the body will go to this pose. Okay. But consciously, we lock sometimes. We lock our chest. So, just click on that point and move it and it will go to that locking stage okay and you will see that it has turned to blue so exam for an example if you need that you can use it and if it doesn't need that you can just return it to normal by pressing shift and z here it is and to animate you need to create some keyframes press F to insert some keyframes and animate it. Okay, so I'll just do this and this. Okay, very simple. Again, go to a frame, press F, and I'll just bring that down and move the another fold. Okay, so to make it a loop, just click in here and it will be a low to play you just need to press x okay you can see that it doesn't have any interpolation right now and one more trick and trick that if you need to move the bones uh, but it's blocking your field of view you can just press x and turn it to whichever side you like okay so now we need to insert some interpolation okay so just select frames shift shift and here i'm using bezier clamped and it has interpolation okay so now when you see it you can say that one more second we can see that it has some interpolation right now okay okay so now we'll add some physics okay so there the physics is enabled and uh, let's play it you can see see how it's you know it's um, actually imitating the uh, real life okay so in real life you move like this okay when you put your foot like this you will jump a little bit and it is done okay but for an example if it doesn't go well, sometimes you can turn on the physics corrector and uh, you can spray on spring secondary, it will add more smoothness and uh, secondary motions. That's it. And let's play it again. Okay, here you see. Okay, so this is all, guys. Thanks for watching. Do like and subscribe. Thank you.